Hey everyone and welcome to video 3 of 3 for the franchise white label. Alright, so in this video we're going to go over your franchise panel. Alright, now we're not going to go into too much detail because we do have tutorials that go into greater detail of how to utilize all of the features to its best ability. Alright, so what we're going to do is just dive right in and click on this blue button up top that's going to bring us to our franchise panel. I'm going to notice that you have a different menu here once you come from your virtual office into your franchise panel. All right, now here is where you control everything and where you see everything from a glance, um, such as your home page in your office here is going to show your users and the amount of purchase plans that you have. Um, right now we have zero um, because we just started, but if we want more information when we do have more, just click here. It's going to bring us to the users. The other will bring us to invoices. All right, here in the users where you can add one manually by clicking on the add button, or you can see all the ones that you already have. All right, by their ID, their customer name, when they expire, their sign up date, and the action that they've taken. Now, the download here is to download your entire list. So, let's say you have two, three, four hundred, maybe a thousand different customers. Okay, you can download them all to a CSV file and upload them to maybe Mailing Boss to create a separate list. All right, now I'll also show you in another tutorial um, later on how to actually integrate Mailing Boss the correct way to make sure you're capturing all of your customers. Um, but this is another way to just download everybody onto one file. All right, um, here we're going to go into our invoices. All right, and this is just as they seem very straightforward. This is where you're going to see all of your paid and unpaid customers. All right, this is the invoice ID. This will be their username and if they have paid or not, their creation date and so on. All right, now you can also create a manual invoice here by simply clicking on this button and filling out this information. Now what that is going to do is, um, or why you would do that, not what that is going to do, but why you would do this is to let's say you have a specialty item product or service um, such as a consultation you can do a per hour consultation for X amount of dollars for um, different industries or you can do a special product maybe you're promoting somebody's product maybe um, you're you have an affiliate page whatever you're doing um, you can create a special invoice here and send that directly to people via a clickable link all right now if we come down here this is going to be where we see and configure all of our plans if you want to add a new one, we're going to click on this green button here, give it a title, give it a description, the status, um, the reoccurrence, and we can make it featured as well. Um, what features is going to do, let's say we want to push this um, this item or push this plan more than the others, um, we just click here, it's going to give this plan prominence. All right, now if you want us to take care of all of your customer support so that you don't have to, just simply click here and for $1.99 per person, um, we are going to take care of all of your customer support needs. You don't have to worry about that. All you have to do is worry about monitoring your white label and collecting your payments. All right, now if we come right here, um, what we're going to see is a breakdown of our hosting. All right, so this is going to be access to the back office. That's going to be $1.99 per person. That gives them access to all of the tools that we have to offer. All right, now the storage per gigabyte is going to be 90 cents per gig. Um, now, you don't need to use all of this storage. It's actually a lot. Um, you can have about 40, 50 different sites there and you still may not use it, okay, depending on how heavy your sites are. However, if you do one more per person, you can go here, click, and go to two. Click out of here and you'll see that change to 180, 90 cents per, and then you'll see the total cost of hosting change down here to 668. All right, so I'm going to pull this back to one. Now, the next will be domain with unlimited subdomains. All right, so we ourselves allow you to have unlimited domains and subdomains. All right, now you are going to give people um, this number here, um, X amount, how many domains that they can create, and then they can create unlimited subdomains with this one. So it's going to be 90 cents per that you allow. If you want to do two, three, four, five, just click here. You'll see that change here for you. All right. Now, what we're going to do is put this back at one. All right, now, it's going to come with a 1,000 leads, and this is going to be for your email marketing per person. All right, now, after that, it's going to be $0.90 cents per 1,000, and you can add that here as well. Everything here is going to be pretty much the same. Only thing you can't change is the back office. That's going to be one, and the support. That's going to be one as well. All right, now, if you want to add additional resources, you can do that here and add in a new item and a new value yourself. Now, this is where you're going to configure your profit. Your profit, let's say you want to make $10 per person, just click on 10 here. Okay, click out, and that's going to show you your total plan cost. 
All right. Now, what we do is we work with PayPal parallel payment. So what that means is our hosting cost is five seventy eight. All right. So whenever your customer pays is fifteen seventy eight, we're going to get our five seventy eight in our account. You're going to get your ten dollars in your account. All right. You're going to save and then move along from there. Here we're going to go into our configurations um, in a white label. This is where you're going to connect your domain. So this is going to be for your office. This is going to be your actual domain here. All right. This is going to be the title and description of your website. And this is where you're going to put your logos. All right. Now this logo here is the logo that's going to show up here. Um, and this logo here is going to show up in other parts of your office and on your page as well. All right. Now it is it's recommended that you use a PNG image. And the reason why we say this is because PNG images do not have background. So no matter what color is behind this image, um, you will not see any whites or any awkward grays behind it. You'll just be able to see a clear, crisp image over the color or over the background. Um, so that's a good note to take when you're putting in your logos here. All right, let's come back to our configurations. Come here to payment. And payment is where you're going to set up which email you're going to collect payments. So this will be your PayPal email where you're going to get all of your money coming into. That is it. PayPal parallel payment is automatically set up within the system. You don't have to worry about it. All right. Tools available to users in your office. So right now we have everything. But if you don't want people to be able to access maybe the app creator or maybe um, you don't want them to have the click map or the presentations, you want to put that in another plan. You can do that and just save here. All right. Now what we're going to do is come down here to our templates and show you that you can simply click on templates that you want to be featured or shown first to your clients or customers. All right, advanced is going to be where you set up your mailing boss. So as I click here, uh, we can set up our mailing boss list. This is the list that we set up beforehand and once we do that, we can link them together and this is going to collect all of our registered users into our mailing boss account. All right, now the redirection link after registration, this is usually going to be your thank you page the reason why we're going to have that is for retargeting purposes. Or right, we can also gather conversion stats, um, do a heat map. We can actually retarget people and redistribute our marketing to them. Okay, so this is going to be a very, very um, good thing for you to have as far as the thank you page. The terms link is going to be your terms of use. And this is going to be your terms title. All right, now the last one we're going to go over is just your pages here. And you can simply add more pages to your white label if you want to. All right, so like I said, we'll go over in greater detail how to do all these different things in our tutorials. Thank you, and I'll talk to you soon.